If your training is being kneecapped by your kneecaps, well today's taping tutorial might be just for you. G'day guys and girls, it's Anthony from Grandstand Sports Clinic here with another taping tutorial. We make a series of taping tutorials here at Grandstand Clinic, so if you like what you see, hit the like button and please consider subscribing. Today we're going to be looking at two methods to tape your patella to reduce kneecap pain during activity. Patellofemoral pain is a complicated injury and there's numerous variables which you'll need to address in order to fully resolve the symptoms. The taping techniques that we're going to show you today are simple ways to reduce your symptoms so you continue training, but it doesn't replace a sound rehabilitation program. Think of the taping as a short-term fix to realign your patellas, but don't ignore the rehabilitation that's going to be required to fix the alignment of your kneecaps long-term. One of the great things about this taping is you'll know immediately if it works. As soon as the taping is applied, you should notice that the symptoms resolve significantly. If once the tape is applied, there is no change in your symptoms, well then it's possibly not a patellofemoral joint problem that you have. So find an activity that reproduces the pain. Then apply the tape and then repeat the activity and look for that immediate relief in your symptoms. The first technique that we're going to look at is our traditional rigid taping to really support the knee. And whilst this tape is really good for symptomatic relief, a lot of athletes find it too restrictive to compete in. The second taping using the Kinesio tape is a much lighter taping and much more comfortable for the athletes to wear, but it still should offer the support and reduce the symptoms. So, Let's get started and have a look at just how to tape your patellas to reduce patellofemoral joint pain. Our aim in patellofemoral joint taping is to maximise the space between the patella and the lateral edge of the femoral groove. Here we look at the lateral articular facet of the patella, which is where usually we see the irritation occur. To make it easier for you to follow along, we've marked out the approximate location of the patella. To improve the longevity of your taping job, use some Fixamol underneath your taping job to get maximal adherence to the skin. The Fixamol should run from outside the kneecap right across to the medial aspect of the knee. The first piece of tape that we apply sits directly on top of the patella starting from the outside and then moving across inwards. As we apply the tape we glide the kneecap medially and look to make a pucker in the skin before we stick the tape down. This pucker is really important for maintaining the medial glide of the kneecap. Start the second piece of tape halfway across the kneecap and then follow the lines of the first tape. This will produce a tilting of the kneecap. With our third piece of tape, we're aiming to rotate the patella. To do this, we'll start the tape a little lower down on the patella so it really grabs the bottom corner of the patella. As we apply this tape, we're going to rotate the patella upwards so that the end of the tape finishes at the same place where the other two bits of tape finished. So now we've applied a medial glide, a medial tilt and a medial rotation to maximise the space under the kneecap. Again, to strengthen our taping job, we're going to tidy up with some Fixamol strips over the ends of the tape to give maximal longevity. Take note again of the pucker on the inside of the knee. This is really critical in order to maintain the effectiveness of the taping. So let's have a look and see what the three pieces of tape are actually doing to the kneecap using the model to make it clearer. The first piece of tape applied over the kneecap drags the kneecap medially and you can see this starts to open up the space between the kneecap and the underlying bone. By starting the second piece of tape halfway across the kneecap, we're actually going to produce a tilt in the kneecap and again, more space is made underneath the kneecap.
the third piece of tape, starting lower, will rotate the kneecap away from the space. So if we compare the before to the after taping, you can see that the space between the kneecap and the underlying bone has been significantly increased by the tape. Having the space in the joint will mean that you're less likely to push on the irritated cartilage on the underside of the kneecap during activity. Now the second taping job we're going to do is using the elastic kinesio tape. For the average size knee, you'll need about 20 centimetres of kinesio tape. You'll notice here that we round the corners of the kinesio tape, and this is just to make the taping last longer. We find that if you've got a sharp corner on the kinesio tape, it'll start to peel off almost immediately. Fold the tape in half and then tear the tape down the middle. Peel away a portion of the paper backing to expose the adhesive of the tape. Then stretch the tape out to its full length and place the middle of the tape on the outer border of the kneecap. Keeping full tension on the tape, bring it around over the top of the kneecap and then tap it down. Again, underneath the kneecap, take full stretch of the tape and then stick it onto the medial side of the knee. Remember with the kinesio tape not to have any tension on the ends of the tape, otherwise again, the tape will roll off earlier. So there we have two methods of taping the patellofemoral joint. The first rigid taping is probably the more supportive of the two, but a lot of athletes will find it hard to compete with this tape in place. Because the taping sits directly on top of the kneecap, it's under a lot of pressure, particularly when the knee goes past 90 degrees. And if you're involved in a sport where you're likely to go to your knees, such as football, it's almost impossible to get this tape to stick through a game. The second taping with the kinesio tape is far more comfortable for the athlete and it's a whole lot easier to try and get this to last through a competition. Whilst you do sacrifice some of the support of the rigid taping, the kinesio taping is much more comfortable and it's really not going to interfere with the athlete's movements. Once the taping is applied, you should notice an immediate change in your symptoms, so make sure you reassess the painful activity to see if your taping job is working. I think both tapings have got their usefulness in their place. I would tend to use the rigid taping more in the acute situation where the pain is significant, whereas if I'm just looking to offer some support, I think the kinesio taping does a really good job. So try these taping techniques with your athletes and let us know how you go in the comments section below. Again, if you think this has been useful, hit the like button, consider subscribing, and we'll see you in the next video.